because I've been so faithful, not because I've been so good. You've always been there for me. Thank you.
still love you. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I love the Lord. I love him. I love him. I love him. Hallelujah. I love him. I love him. I love him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Lord. Oh, without your God, we are nothing. Without your God, we can't make it. We need your strength right now. We need your strength right now. Strengthen us right now. of this church, Pastor Wes. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Wes. This is Elder Ram Richardson. Amen. God bless you in the absence of Elder Roundtree to my wife, Evangelist Jones. Amen. To all of the men and women of God, we bless the Lord today. We thank God for being here today. We thank God for 
His blessings. We just thank God for just being good. How many know that God is good? The Bible says, He that keepeth Israel, he won't neither sleep nor slumber. But he's watching when we're sleeping. While we're turning over and don't know where we are, he's watching over us. Oh, who would serve a God like that? We praise God for your, your, your Apostle Smith and the late Pastor Hamilton. Amen. We praise God for just a wonderful work that the Lord has done in this place. Amen. And we're just believing that the Lord will continue to move. Hallelujah. In this place. We're not going to be before you long. But we want you to turn very quickly. And let's look at Psalm 26 and 2. There's a couple of verses I want to read. Psalm 26 and 2. For the scripture says, examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. While we were talking on yesterday, and it just a soft voice came in my spirit. Examine me, examination time. That just struck in my spirit. And I says, Lord, I don't know which way you're going to go with this, but you, you know why you do that. You have done that. Amen. Because we're living in the times when we have to know who we are in God. We're living in a time that we got to know who we are, know where we stand in God. Because there's evil in the land. Trouble in the land. We're living in a dark world, a world that don't recognize God as who he is, a world that recognize all kinds of other things and calling it God. But we know that the God that created the heavens and the earth, he is God. Hallelujah. Everybody, a lot of folk have different kinds, different things that they call God. But they could not create a heaven and an earth. That distinguishes our God from all these false deities that men worship today. Amen. The true and the living God, he's going to stand. No matter what, amen. When we look around us, everything else is going to fail. Everything else is going to fall and go down and be destroyed. But the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, he is God and he is God alone. I don't know why I said that, amen, but that's what I said, amen. But the Bible says, examine me, Lord. Hallelujah. Now look at another verse when I look at um, 1 Corinthians 11 and 28. You can just write that down. It says, but let, let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. And we're very familiar with that passage of scripture. But I just want to pull out the fact, the, the subject of examination. It's, time, it's a time of examination. And when I think of examinations, two things come to mind. I think of the examination that we have in school, and we all have dealt with that. And I think of there's another type of examination when we go to the doctors. And that's another type of an examination. Amen. But everyone at some point in time dealt with an examination of some sort. Whether it's with school or with the doctors or whatever type of examination, you came across examinations. Amen. And you know that with an examination, especially with school, you're preparing yourself. You remember you were taught and you were trained and you were drilled and you studied and you did all this here. Now the time comes when you must prove that you've learned what you've learned. 
And we know in school, sometimes people are in school, children are in school, and they don't learn nothing. It's because they choose not to. Amen. And, and, and then there are some that, that are studious. Some that want to learn. Some that want to know. Amen. I heard a young man says that he's getting ready to go to college and he's asking God to just help him as he start this journey. I want you to know that God will be with you. Hallelujah. God will open up your understanding. Hallelujah. If you put him first. Hallelujah. But you are in school and you're learning because now the things that you've learned, you're going to have to apply them sometime in life. Amen. And see, it'll be a sad thing for when it's time to apply what you've learned and you don't remember a thing. Hallelujah. You know, it's so sad when I look at people today and I see like especially grown men that they push through school and, and the thing about it when we look at them from the outside they look like every other student they look just like you and I but when the time comes when it's time to read and write and you put something in front of them they can't read and they can't write I said Lord that is so sad all these years in school and didn't learn anything that's a sad thing. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we must, amen, while we have the time and when we, while we're applying ourselves to absorb all that we can absorb because it's going to show up eventually down the line. And the thing about it is, 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 is now those individuals that have, that went through school and never learned anything, the time comes to show that it shows them up. Because they didn't learn anything. Amen. Amen. They looked the same. They acted the par. They got up and they got on the buses. They whatever. They did everything else that every other student did. But they didn't learn a thing. That's a sad thing. So when examination time comes, that individual is lost. Hallelujah. Amen. Then there's another examination. And this examination is when you go to the doctor's office. Amen. And the doctor performs this exam. And, and while he's examining, he wants to make sure that everything is right. Hallelujah. He's looking to make sure that he don't see anything that's abnormal. Amen. Because see, sometimes things begin to grow in our bodies and things begin to uh, act, activate in our bodies that we don't even realize because there is no symptoms. Hallelujah. But stuff can be growing and see in the doctor when he examines, he examines and he discovers something. He do the blood test and he come back with the results and he says this is this and that is that. And you look back and you look and you say wow I didn't know that was going on in my body. Because there was something growing that was undetected. Amen. It was something, amen, that was trying to come together and its ultimate plan was to destroy you. Hallelujah. That's why it's important that we go to the doctors, amen, and get the physical examination. We know that God is our healer, amen, but we go to the doctors and get the physical examination so we can see if there's anything going on. And if there is something going on, maybe I can jump on it before it begins to get out of control. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. So the doctor, he realized, uh, amen, that is going on and he addresses it. But for that one that never go to the doctor, he never go, amen. Amen. And time goes on and on and on. And he, everything looks well. He feels well. You heard somebody, you know, that they say, well, look, I don't need a doctor. I feel good. Ain't nothing going on with me. Hallelujah. You see, that's just a trick of the enemy. Amen. See, that's what they want you to think, that everything is okay. But inside, there's some stuff going on. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's another type of an exam. But the exam that I want to talk to you today about is a self-exam. 
examination. Huh? Come on, look at somebody say it's time to do a self-examination. Hallelujah, it's time, it's time, it's time. Hallelujah, you got to uh, begin to look at yourself. You got to begin to look down on the inside of you. The Bible says, uh, let every man, in 1 Corinthians 11 and 28, it says, but let a man examine himself. Hallelujah. Examine himself and and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. But when I look at let a man, when I look at the word let, it lets me, it seems to indicate that there is a choice. Come on, somebody. It seems like there is a choice. Amen. Either you can examine yourself or you don't have to. The scripture says, let a man examine himself. You must decide if this examination is something that's important to you. Well, maybe you may feel, maybe, maybe you may feel, I don't have to examine myself. Maybe you may feel okay. But you got to realize that this decision that you're making is a decision of life or death. What are you saying, preacher? Either life with God or death in hell. Hallelujah. You got to uh, uh, make up your mind. And it says, let a man. And a man indicates that this decision is something that's personal. See, I can decide that I want to examine myself. But you can decide you don't want to. It's a personal thing. Come on, somebody. It's a personal thing. It's how you look at it. Is it important to you or is it not? Are you concerned about going to heaven and being with God or are you not? Hallelujah. When I look at folk today, you see folk doing their thing and walking in sin and, and just enjoying their life in a sinful manner. Amen. This is a man that has not decided to examine himself. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. But they're going on, they're going on. Oh, my God. But you got to realize that there's a time that's going to come when you're going to have to face God. Come on, somebody. You got to face God. You got to stand before God. Hallelujah. And I don't want to stand before God and I'm not right. I don't want to stand before God and he opened the books and he began to declare. Hallelujah. All the evil that you have done. All the wrong that you have done. And depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I don't want that to happen to me. So that's why you got to examine yourself this day. Look at somebody say, you better examine yourself. Hallelujah. You better examine yourself. Oh my God, don't worry about what you look like and what people think about you. Don't worry about what they say about you because you're examining yourself. Hallelujah, because it's a personal thing. My God, my God, my God. You got to make sure that there is nothing growing inside of you that is not right. You got to make sure that there's nothing inside of you that will cause with God. Hallelujah, because if you miss out with God, it's too late. My God, my God. Because when you go into the second death, the second death is eternal separation from God. As long as God lives, that's how long you will be in eternity in hell. So that's why I got to make up in my mind things right while I can. I got to examine myself. Maybe I'm talking to somebody wrong. Maybe I'm looking at somebody wrong. Maybe I'm saying and doing the wrong thing. Maybe I'm involved in the wrong thing. Oh my God, my God. It's time to get it right now. Hallelujah. You look at somebody and say, you better get it right. Oh, because God is watching you. God sees that.
everything. Hallelujah. He knows everything. My God, my God. You got to get that stuff out of you. Come on, somebody. Maybe you didn't realize it was building up in you. You don't have the symptoms yet. But the devil is working on the inside. The devil is creating something on the inside. Hallelujah. And you know what? He don't want you to be aware. He don't want you to realize that you got some stuff on the inside. He don't want you to feel like it's all right. Come to church and sing and shout and dance. And everything is all right. But down on the inside, there's some poison. Yeah! Down on the inside, there's something that's going to separate you from God. Jesus. How I love to be like Jesus. My God, but he didn't have no sin. Come on, somebody. He didn't have no sin. See, God could have thrown you to the side. God could have said, I'm tired of this. But he's a long-suffering God. He's a God with patience. He's a God that's long-suffering. And he's waiting and he's waiting. Somebody. Oh my God. I remember the scripture saying that men were so wicked in the book of Genesis. They were so wicked that God wanted to destroy man. Every penny God that he made man. Hallelujah. I remember when Moses, when they were in the wilderness, he got angry, he got upset because men were so wicked after all that God has done. Hallelujah. He brought you out of Egypt. He brought you from a land where Pharaoh said, I'm not letting you go. But God said with a strong hand, I brought you out. Yeah. My God, my God. He opened up the waters. He opened the waters and he walked through the waters. He sent the east wind and caused the quail to come in the camp and the people ate quail until they were filled up. He had men up on the ground after God did all that. Hallelujah. And they looked and they saw the Egyptian soldiers face down in the water. These were the ones that wanted to destroy them. These were the ones that came after them to bring them back in bondage. But they were down faced in the water. After all of that, the people of God were still in their ways. My God, my God. Hallelujah. They were still in their ways. They were still rebellious. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There was some stuff inside of them. When they came out of bondage, it was still inside of them. But you got to be delivered. You got to be delivered. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God, my God. You better examine yourself. Because just like Israel, when they were in the wilderness, God got tired. I said he got tired. My God, my God. He said, I'm going to bring you to the promised land. Hallelujah. But because there was some that was rebellious, the Bible said that he caused those that was 21 and up to die in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, I can't die. I can't die. I gotta make it to the promised land. I can't give up. I gotta forsake my way. I gotta turn from wickedness if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and turn from their wicked way. 
deliverance and it's for you. But you got to make up in your mind. I'm throwing stuff off to the side now. I'm laying your side every sin and every way. Yeah! Hallelujah! You got to do it now. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to lay it aside. And we must run this race with patience. Looking unto him, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Who endured the shame. He was despised. He was slapped. He was spit on. He was talked about. They plucked his beard. They whipped him all night long. But he never said a bubbling word. He did it for you. He did it for you. Hallelujah. He did it for you. Israel in the wilderness. They messed up. There were many that died and didn't make it to the promised land because they wanted to hold on to their ways. They wanted to hold on to their thoughts. But we got to now, we got to throw our thoughts to the side now. Hallelujah. We got to let go of some stuff. Some of us are holding on to stuff and still coming to church like it's all right. Oh my God. But you got to make this thing a personal thing. You got to examine yourself. I can't examine you. I can't tell you who what you're doing. I can't do that. I mean, I can preach the word. And if I see sin, I have to call it out. But you know those personal things. You know those things that I don't know, that the pastor don't know, unless God reveals it to him. Hallelujah. You know. You got to examine yourself. Hallelujah. Because he says to follow peace with all men. And what he said, for holiness without. In which no man shall see the Lord. Ah, my God. Examine yourself. It's time now. It's time. It's time. Hallelujah. It's time to get real with this thing. See, we got some people in the church that feel like, you know, they have time. They feel like, you know, there ain't nothing going to happen to them. They don't even think that way. They are so comfortable in their ways. They are so comfortable holding on to the things that's not of God. They're so comfortable indulging themselves. They know what they're doing is not right. They know it. But they're comfortable. Hallelujah. Amen. But don't be like the children of Israel. They died in the wilderness. Because they were comfortable in their way. They were rebellious. They were complaining. They murmured against everything that God spoke through Moses. Moses spoke a word and said, the Lord said, thus and thus, the people begin to murmur and complain. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you must make up in your mind. I'm going with God. I'm going with him. No matter what. Doesn't nothing in this world matters. Because you know what? It's almost over, y'all. I said, it's almost over. I mean, when I was young and there was preaching, and, and you know, back then they preached hellfire. <laughs> they preached, and you were scared sitting in the church. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. I, that make you want to just start an altar call right then. Come on, them preachers didn't play. They talk about hellfire, you're going to hell. You don't hear that nowadays. They don't talk about hell nowadays, but it's in the Bible. It's in the book. And if you don't examine yourself and get that junk out of you that should not be, that's where you're going to end up. You're going to end up in hell. Hallelujah. Amen. Your ways. 
Amen. You're holding on to some ways, some attitudes, some folk holding grudges. Come on, somebody. I don't know why I'm saying what I'm saying. But some folk are sitting in the church and holding grudges. Don't you know God sees the grudges? And if you don't get it right, you're going to hell. I gotta call it out. Hallelujah. Amen. You have your ways and you think that you know more than everybody else. Come on, somebody. I don't know who I am. I didn't come here to say this. My God, and we ain't talk about nothing, nothing. Hallelujah. But some of you are going to go to hell if you don't get it right. You got your way. You hold on to stuff. Talking in your head. Who did he think he is? Who did he, she think she is? Amen. What make them holier than I? Come on, somebody. Folk be trying to just say things and, and talk and have a conversation in your head. In your head. It's the devil talking. Get it right. Get it right. You got to dump some stuff out of you. You've been holding on. Amen. Y'all been, have been having some, some attitudes against individuals for years. Somebody said some 40 years ago and you still holding it. Jesus is almost back. You better dump that stuff out. Hallelujah. Dump it out now. Take your own thoughts out the way. Hallelujah. The Bible says I must decrease and let him increase. I got to die. Some of y'all are walking zombies. Oh my God, you're zombies. You're, you're walking, but you have some type of a life, but it's not the life of God. It's the life of the devil operating in your soul. Get it right. Come to church today and tonight you're doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing. Going where you know you shouldn't be going. Get it right. Get it right. Somebody shook the song, Get Right With God. And do it now. Hallelujah. You better do it now. You know why? Because the next minute is not promising you. Folk are just dying like that. Folk are dropping dead. Amen. You see them one day and the and next day you, you see that they're gone and the report goes around. Such and such and such died and everybody's like, what? I just saw them yesterday. Folk are dying. And they're dying in sin. If you die in sin, it's over. But while you have life, health, and strength in your body, you better get it right. I said, you better get it right. Folk done you wrong, go to them. Talk to them in the spirit of meekness. Go to them. You know what I'm saying? Go to them, get it right. If someone offended you, go and get it right. Don't hold that in you because that's going to cause you to lose out. <sighs> Examine yourself. It's examination time. Amen. This ain't no play play time. This is a serious matter. This is serious. Your life depends on it. I think about the scripture when it says that, I was just reading the other day, where it says that um, when this life here is over and the Lord comes back, and it says that there was a tabernacle that he set in the midst of his people and he dwelt in the midst of his people. Can you imagine what that's going to be like? We're in heaven with the Lord and, 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 and he, he's right there in our presence. Can you imagine that? No more pain, no more, no more sorrows, no more struggles, no more trying to figure out how I'm going to pay the bills. How am I going to eat? Do I pay the bills or do I eat? What do I take? What do I do? No more of that. No more sickness, no more ailments in our bodies. No more nothing. Just with God forever. Can you imagine that? And then missing that. What is it to miss that? Is that grudge worth it? Those things
things that you're holding on to, is it worth it? Look at somebody and ask them, is it worth it? Come on, you know what you're dealing with. You know what you're doing. Is it worth it? I can't miss out. I can't miss out. The Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. Sometimes you get tired. But you got to hang on in there. You got to hang around those that are sanctified. Amen. So you can get your strength. Your strength is among them that are sanctified. Those that's lifted up holy hands. You got to come together. The Bible says, forget not the assembling of ourselves together. We got to come together. Strengthen one another. You can't pick and choose and say, well, I, I'll come to church in, in, in about another month when I get ready. You can't do that. Your strength is there. God has a word from the pastor that's going to take, that's going to encourage you and strengthen you to go a little further. But when we have, when we in our way, that's when our flesh is in operation. You got to kill that man. I preached a message uh, a few years ago, amen, uh, was that, kill the right man. Is that what it was? I think it's kill the right man. Amen. The spiritual man, the natural man, and the, and the uh, fleshly man. I think that's what it was. But a lot of us are letting that flesh man rise. But you got to kill him. You got to let that spirit man rise up. Because they that are led by the spirit they are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must kill that natural man. Kill our ways. Kill those things in our hearts. Those things in our hearts. Stuff that's there. And see the thing about it, when, when, when we let stuff just stay with, where in our hearts where it should not be, you know what's going to happen? It's going to keep on trying to grip. <clears throat> when you put a plant in the ground, when you put that plant in the ground, what happened? Those roots begin to sprout. Yeah. And the more it stays in the ground, what happens? It get deeper. And it get a stronger grip. That's what the devil wants to do. He wants you to hold on to your thoughts and your ways so that he can grip you. So that it'll make it hard for you to give it up. Whoever I'm talking to, God is speaking. Tomorrow's not promise. Tomorrow is not promise. Hallelujah. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. Hallelujah. It's time now. It's time now. Amen. It's time to get right with God. Amen. It's time to give up our ways. It's time to forsake our ways. Hallelujah. It's time to say, yes, Lord. Come on, somebody. I mean, yes, a total, complete yes. Amen. Amen. When you say yes to the Lord, you say no to everything else. Amen. Hallelujah. But you got to make up in your mind. I got to examine myself. The Bible says, let a man examine himself. Hallelujah. Let him examine himself. And then there's another scripture where it says um, in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, it says, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Amen. Know ye not your own selves how that Jesus Christ is in you except ye be reprobates. You got to examine yourself. You know what? As we examine ourselves, there's going to come a time when all that we've learned, all that we've learned, all that we've been taught coming up through the years, all that we've been taught, there's going to come a time when that's going to be tested. Hallelujah. There's testing times that's coming. My God, and when the test comes, if you have examined yourself and removed everything out that should not be, when the time of testing comes, you'll be able to stand. Amen. But if you don't move stuff out of you, what's going to happen? When the test comes, that stuff will rise up in you. 
And that, all that evil, all that negativity is going to come out. Right. Folks start saying things they didn't think they would ever say in front of people. Right. Yeah, but you know you were saying it in your house. You were home saying it all the while. You made sure you didn't say it while you were in the church. But when the time of test comes, that stuff's coming out. And folk are going to see you for who you are. You're going to tell on your own self. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm not going to hold it any longer. But you must examine yourself. It's a time of examination. It's a time to make sure that you're in the place with God. Make sure that your anchor is holding to the solid rock. You got to make sure that you have a fellowship and a relationship with God. You got to make sure that nothing is in the way of that. Husband and wives and children, family, brothers, and whoever. You can't let nothing get in the way of your relationship with God. Hallelujah. You got to have your mind made up to go all the way. You got to have your mind made up to do it God's way no matter who like it and who don't like it. Some folk is not going to like what you have on the inside because when you have holiness, amen, folk don't like holiness. We're in a dark world where people say that it don't go like that anymore. You don't have to do that anymore. That's the kind of world that we're living in. Hallelujah. But you got to stand firm. The Bible says be steadfast. Be immovable. No matter what they say. No matter what they do. You be steadfast. Why? Because Jesus is coming. And if you are ready when he comes, you're going to be caught up to meet him in the air. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you're not in hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. Hallelujah. But we thank the Lord today. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet, saints. It's a time of examination. You must seriously begin to talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. And you must begin to look down on the inside of yourself. Because only you know what's down inside of you. That's not right. Only you know that I'm dealing with some stuff. God, I don't want this in my life. But I'm trying to shake it off, but it seems like it's hard. So now you have to give that to God. Says, God, please help me in this area of my life. Because I got to make it in. I got to make it. I can't let this that I'm struggling with. I can't let this hold me. But God is able to snatch it away from you. God is able to give you strength to overcome. God is able. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil trick you and say, well, I've tried. I'm struggling. You don't understand. You know how some folks say, you don't understand. You've never been there, you're not. Maybe I have not. But I know a God that knows everything that we're dealing with. Right. He knows everything. He knows what we feel. He knows how we think. He sees the struggle. He sees the temptations. He sees all these things. He sees all that stuff when you're laying in your bed at night and you're thinking about, you know, the things that you're going to do or the things that you're dealing with. I had a weird dream. I didn't share this with my wife, but I had a weird dream. And in this dream, I saw, I was looking, I saw it was myself. And God was showing me something. And I saw myself, and I was looking, and I saw, I said, wow, that don't look like me. And I'm looking, and I know it's me, but I said, that, that don't look like me. I saw like little, you know, deformities, and I said, that ain't me. I kept looking. But you know what?
God was letting me see. I didn't know that he was connecting it with this message today. Because see, folk look at you one way, but God see you another way. You see, and I look at that and I said, okay, God, is that what you're saying? We all have some stuff that we got to throw to the side. We're no different, Pastor. We're no different. We got to throw stuff aside. And see, you think you look away, but when God let you see what he see, come on, somebody. This is not a message. To, I mean, in, in a situation like that, see, you can't let pride set in. I don't want them to think I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not right. No, brother, you're going to hell if you don't keep yourself together. <laughs> you don't have time to wonder about what they think about me. What they're saying about me. You don't have time to worry about that. But you got to, you better get it right. I'm not saying get it right. I said you better get it right. Hallelujah. Maybe there's somebody here today that desire prayer. Maybe you're dealing with something. You don't worry about what nobody thinks, but if you're dealing with something and you need help, come on up here today. And we're going to pray with you. I don't care what it is. Don't think about nothing. Don't worry about it because you, you, you know, you, you're trying to stay out of hell. That's what you want to do. You want to stay out of hell. You want to make it in. Lord, there's some stuff in me that is not right. Hallelujah. God, I need you to fix some stuff in me. Oh, my God, my God. Hallelujah. I need you to fix some stuff in me. There's some stuff in me that only I know. Only I know the stuff in me that I know is not right. I know it's not right. I know I'm struggling with something. I'm examining myself right now. God, I got to get it right. Come on, come on. You got to go to God for yourself. I got to get it right. Oh, hallelujah. I got to get it right. I got to get it right. I got to get it right. I got to. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask right now, most high God, that you move on your people right now. You hear their conversations. You hear their prayers. You see their thoughts right now. You see what they're dealing with right now. You know the things they're trying to get rid of right now. Oh, God, reach down, reach down, reach down right now. Reach down, reach down right now. In the name of Jesus, reach down, reach down, reach down right now. Pull it out, 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 pull it out. Yes, 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 yes. Pull it out, pull it out. In the name of Jesus, wash me in your blood. Wash me in your blood. Your blood is for the removing of sin. Wash me in your blood. Wash me, wash me. Wash me, Lord. Wash me now. Oh, right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wash me right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Cleanse me, cleanse me. Pull it out, root. Pull that root out. Pull that root, that root to sin. Pull it out. In the name of Jesus, there's a root growing down inside of my spirit. There's a root, there's a root in uh, your people, Lord. There's a root. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Dry it up. Dry up. Dry up, root. Dry up. Dry up now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. That root, that root that's growing stuff that's not right. That root that's growing stuff that's not right. Pull it out. Pull it out now. Dry it up now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I got to get it right today, not tomorrow. I may not be here tomorrow. I got to get it right right now. Oh, do it, Lord. Do it, do it, do it, do it, Lord. Do it. Do it, Lord. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, Lord, do it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let your rain 
from heaven, rain now. Holy Ghost fire, rain. Holy Ghost fire, rain. Holy Ghost fire, rain. Burn up some stuff. Burn up some stuff. Burn up some stuff. Burn it up. Burn it up. Burn it up. Oh, hallelujah. Burn it up. Burn it up. Burn it up. Burn up that stuff that's not right. Burn up my attitude. Burn up my ways. Burn up my thoughts. Burn up my wrongdoing. Burn it up. 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 Burn it up now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Burn it up. Burn it up. Ah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I need you now. I need you. Come on, somebody. Come on. 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 You got to do it for yourself. You got to do it for yourself. You got to let loose for yourself. You got to get rid of it for yourself. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. I know you got family members and you got folk that you know that you're praying for. But today you got to pray for yourself. You got to pray for yourself. You got to get yourself right. Get yourself right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, do it now, Lord. Do it. Do it. Do it now, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My God. You know, Lord, my heart. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. You know I love you, Lord. You know I love you, but there's some stuff that's in the way. I want to live right, but there's some stuff that's in the way. I got to get rid of it now. Woo, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My soul says yes. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. My soul said yes, 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 my Lord, my soul said yes, 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 my soul said yes, my soul said yes, 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 my Lord, my soul said yes, come on somebody, yes, yes, to your will, my soul said yes, 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 my Lord, my soul said yes, yes, yes. See, you got to say yes to the Lord in the midst of it all. Lord, I still say yes. I say yes. You know there's some weaknesses in my life, but I still say yes. There's some struggles in my life, God, but I'm still saying yes. I'm still saying yes. Hallelujah. I'm still saying yes. Oh my God. Forgive, forgive me, Lord. May I, I may have said something wrong. I may have reacted to what's inside of me. I may have let flesh rise up from what's inside of me. And it was wrong. But God, I stand before you right now and I ask you to forgive me right now. Forgive me for my reactions. Forgive me for those wrong thoughts. Forgive me for the wrong words I've used. Forgive me for my action when I did wrong, when I knew I shouldn't have done wrong. Forgive me, Lord. Because I want to be right. I got 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 to be right. Hallelujah. I got to be right. Yes, Lord, I got to be right. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I got to be right. I got to be right. I got to be right. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to be right. My soul got to be right. Hallelujah. There's a work in this city. There's a work in this city. Hallelujah. It's going to take the power of God. It's going to take the power of God to bring them off the streets. Because the devil got such a grip on the people. But see, you got to get it right first. You got to get it right first. Because see, 
God gonna need to move his power through you. Come on, somebody. Folk gonna come in here all bound up. Folk gonna come in here demon possessed. But it's gonna take the power of God in you to help bring their deliverance. Hallelujah. But if you're not right, what do you think they gonna get right? Oh my God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. It's all right. It's all right now. It's all right. Hallelujah. You shook it off. I said, you shook it off. So it's all right now. Hallelujah. And when you shake it off, don't pick it back up. Hallelujah. Shake it off and stop it in the ground. Hallelujah. Stop it in the ground. Stop it in the ground. Don't you let that thing get back attached to you. Hallelujah. See, the devil want to come back. He want to come back to you. I remember this preacher. He was saying that he was preaching and doing all this here. Going all over the world preaching. Amen. But he was a drug addict. Amen. God delivered him from drugs. And he, was, he went to this here ministry. And he was preaching for thousands of people. Thousands of people. And while he was standing there, he wanted, he wanted, you know, he wanted to go and get another fix. Amen. Because he felt like he needed a fix to preach before the people. See, the devil, when God delivered you, the devil is trying to come back. But how many know that when God washed you from that, from that that you were holding or that, that was inside of you, God is able to keep you from falling. He's able to keep you. But you know it's starting your mind. You got to make up in your mind, in your heart, in your, I'm going to do right. Because he gives you power over all the power of the enemy. He said, nothing but shall my enemies hurt you. You shall tread upon serpents. Come on, somebody. You got to get that mindset now. You got to change your mind. You got to get a mind. I'm going to step on that devil. I'm going to walk on that devil. I'm not going to let him get inside of me no more. I'm going to step on his head. Oh, uh, God. Hallelujah. You got to make up in your mind. You, you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Oh, my God. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to say yes to the Lord and no to the devil. You got to do it. Oh my God, I gotta make it, I gotta make it, I got to make it. Whatever it takes to make it in, I got to do it. Woo! Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, I got to do it. I got to do it, I got to do it, I got to do it, I got to do it. Oh, hallelujah, no matter what it takes, no matter what it takes. I got to live right, I got to live holy, I got to do for God. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. My soul said yes. My soul said yes. Oh, my soul said yes, my soul said yes. Hallelujah. It says yes. It says yes. It says yes. It says yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says yes. It says yes. It says yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, oh God, oh God. I gotta make it. I got to make it. I got to make it. I gotta make it in. I gotta make it. I got to hold out. I got to endure. I got to endure until the end. I got to endure. I got to endure. No matter what it takes, I got to endure. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I got to endure, I got to, I got to, I got to. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Father, keep him. Even as he get ready to go to college. Keep him, Lord. Keep his mind. Give him strength to hold out. Strength to hold on. Don't let him be, don't let him get to the left or to the right. But let him keep his eyes on you. Strengthen him now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And we thank you right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Oh, yes, Lord. It's going to be all right. It's all right now. It's all right now. I know that Jesus heard me, and it's all right now. Yes, it's all right now. It's all right now. I know that Jesus heard me, and it's all right. Oh, yes, it's all right now. Come on, somebody. It's all right now. I know that Jesus heard me, and it's all right now. Yes, it's all right now. Yes, it's all right now. I know that Jesus heard me, and it's all right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is a work to be done. There is a work. Hallelujah. You're not here just to be here. God did not place you here just to be here. But you're here and there's a work to be done. In this area, God got great things. Hallelujah. But it's going to take you as his people to be in a righteous place with God. Hallelujah. That God can work through and move through. That God can inspire. God will give you a word. Amen. We gotta, we, you, know, I, you know, I came in today, I said, Lord, I can't preach, but you got to preach. You know, you can't do it, but you gotta let God do it through you. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody need to hear what God will give you, not what you give yourself. You gotta let God move through you to reach them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't know, but I've been led to pray, Pastor. Let we, you know, the pastor. Let's pray for the pastor. Let's pray for him. And see, and the thing about it, you got to get with him. Get under his arms. Hallelujah. Join him in prayer. Join him with one mind, one spirit. Not divided spirits, not all over the place, but one mind in one spirit. Amen. And you'll see what God begin to move through him in ways that you would never even imagine. Hallelujah. God will do it. Hallelujah. God will work miracles. God will do things through him that you would never even imagine. But you got to get with him. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, move on this pastor right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, give him strength, give him wisdom, give him understanding, give him knowledge, give him that power that he needs, oh most God, to break and destroy the yokes of the devil. Power! Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, oh my God, tear down the camp of the enemy. He needs power! Oh my God, move through him like never before. In the name of Jesus, give him a word. A word that will penetrate the hearts of people. A word that will tear down walls. Give him a word. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, strengthen him right now. Heal his body right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do it right now. 
Hallelujah. Oh, God, give him a vision. Give him an eye. An eye to see what you see. An eye, an ear to hear what you hear. A mouth to speak what you say. Speak. Give it to him now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you now. We bless you now. Somebody put your hands together. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Move on his assistant right now. Move on her right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let her stand in that rightful place. Oh my God, that place of power. Let her stand in that place, that place of strength. Hallelujah, that place of support in the name of Jesus. Oh God, teach her, teach her, teach her, Lord, what you can only teach, oh most God. In the name of Jesus, strengthen her right now. Strengthen her right now. Strengthen her right now. Open up her mouth. Open up her mouth. Take away fear. Take away doubt. Take it away. Take it away. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. Hey! Stand firm. Give her strength. Give her strength now. Strength, almost high God, to stand. Stand tall. Stand tall. Stand tall. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, do it right now. Do it right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Be blessed, saints. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed of the Lord. Be blessed of the Lord. Be blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for the word. We thank you for your strength. Father, help us, Lord. Let us examine ourselves. It's a time of examination. It's time to examine ourselves to see whether we're in the faith. It's a personal thing. We thank you, Lord. And when you show us what you what you want us to see about ourselves. Oh Lord God, let us throw it to the side. Let us not second thought. Let us not think about it. But let us throw it to the side. And never look at it again. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, we pray. Hallelujah. Put your hands together as you go to your seat. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you let it be said too late. Don't let it be said too late. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to turn this part of the service back to the head of the pastor. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to go to heaven. We must examine ourselves, praise God. Can't go to heaven cramped up, praise God. Oh my God, hallelujah. Our hearts got to be right. Only the pure in heart shall see God. We thank the Lord today. How you use Pastor Jones to encourage our heart. Let us know to examine ourselves, praise God. So we thank God for each of you. Thank God for the word of God. Thank God for the altar prayer. We believe the Lord has done it for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to ask that in deacons with a prayer for the offering. We're going to ask that Pastor Wes will come to receive our offering. Hallelujah. 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 God has spoken. Yes. Thank you, Pastor Jones. As he said, me and him didn't talk about anything yesterday. I just, God spoke to my spirit this week, asked him to come. And that was it. But God spoke today. See, God knows what's in every man's heart. He knows. Yes. All these things, God, see, God know what's going on here. Yeah, yes, he he said for years, people been fussing and fighting with each other. I'm talking about right here. Yeah. 
is just a few of us. When pastor was here, acting a fool. And she was preaching hard. And I'm not afraid to say it. A lot of them was against her. All the woman of God. But you know what? You haven't got away. She might be gone, but you ain't got away with it. You're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. The people feel like that. Look, the scripture in the Old Testament said that um, there was a time came that it was a, a shortest in the word of God. Uh-huh. In the Old Testament. And yeah. every man did right what he thought right in his own eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's the way people are today. Yes. Yeah. They, are, they are like that today. They uh-huh. feel like I'm going to do it my way. my way. I don't care what the Bible says. Uh-huh. I don't care what God says. Uh-huh. I don't care what the preacher says. Uh-huh. I'm going to do just like I please. Right. But you know what? Yeah. In hell, you're going to live up to it. You don't want to leave. No. I never, the, the preacher that I've been upon, yes. I never fought them. Yes. If I didn't like what they were doing, yes. I prayed for them. Yes. And if, if it got worse, I left. Yes. Yes. I didn't stay there and fight the pastor. Yes, right. You don't tell the pastor what to do. Right. You don't tell the leader what to do. Yes. And you better stop fighting each other. That's right. yes. You came to this house today and you let some stuff go. Let it stay gone. Yeah. And let the devil bring it back up. Right. Yeah. Husband and wife yes. can't get along. Uh-huh. I know what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. In other words, we live in a day and time that nobody can't do that with nobody. Uh-huh. People do what they want to do. Yes. But you got to stand before God with right. yes. And you will give an account. Yes. Amen. Amen. No, sir. I never fought a pastor. Yes. I never fought a pastor. Uh-huh. And I've been on the Sunday that does some terrible things. Yes. But I didn't fight. I didn't go to them and try to straighten them out. Yes. Wasn't my job. God didn't give me that job. Yes. I just prayed for them. Yes. As I said, if it got worse, I just got my head to lay. Yes. That's what I did. Yes. Amen. So you need to know ministry. Uh-huh. You need to know ministry. That's right. And you don't come up against me. That's right. I don't do that. It's dangerous. Yeah. That's right. So we certainly thank God for it. I love the Catholic church. Yeah. Yeah. Hellfire and brimstone. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. See, this is what keeps me straight. Yeah. When the word comes forth like that, it keeps me straight. Yeah. But when these preachers stand up here with this yaggity, 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 Got folks running and jumping and flipping and can on, ain't saying nothing. Uh-huh. Yes. And folks is flipping like a bunch of monkeys and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Screaming and hollering yeah. and the preacher ain't saying nothing. Uh-huh. And people screaming so loud, he might be saying when the service over, I'm going to kill you. But see, you, you didn't hear it. Uh-huh. They call it yeah. screaming and hollering over nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I've seen it. Yes. They love them preachers to get up here and just run and rip and run. Yes. People love that type of stuff. Yes. But God wants us to stand still yes. and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and learn something. That's right. You know what the preacher told me years ago? When we first got saved, you know how you feel. Yes. Feel like you run through a troop and leave over walls. Yes. The time we jump up the orphan strike up, we jump it on the floor. Uh-huh. He said, sit down. Uh-huh. Let me teach you something first. Yes, yes. that's right. Once you learn it, you can cook it. Yes. So thank God. Thank the Lord. And then the ushers are coming.